uh, welcome to Aryan tutorials so now we are going to discuss one example problem on law of moments so by applying the law of moments we are going to find out here the position of the result tank so whenever the two forces act on a body so here uh, I have taken a problem like the two like parallel forces 5 newtons and 15 newtons are acting at a distance of 240 mm on a body so first I want to represent that uh, body so I am taking a AB straight line as a body here so on this AB straight line at A point and B point the 5 newtons and 15 newtons are the forces are acting at a distance of 240 mm ok so to this we need to find out the magnitude of the resultant force so the resultant force means already we know that which can give the same effect as the number of forces acting on a body so so here two separate forces so these two separate forces can be represented by a single force that is known as resultant so resultant can be written as some of the two forces before that i am representing the position approximate position for the resultant force acting on a body so i have considered a c point in between the a and b and at this point i assume the resultant force is acting r and i am assuming from a point as a distance x at a distance of x from a the resultant force is acting okay and the remaining distance becomes from b 240 minus x okay so this is the conditions uh, according to the problem given okay so now we have to find out the resultant force first that is the magnitude of the resultant so the resultant force is equal to sum of the forces acting on a body number of forces acting on a body so r is equal to f1 plus f2 here we have taken the sum of the two forces because the two forces acting in the same direction okay now so whenever the two forces act in same direction we have to add the two forces when in different directions based upon the direction we need to subtract the two forces so here but the two forces are acting in the same direction upward direction so the direction of resultant force will be also remain same okay the positive sign so for that r is equal to f1 plus f2 which will give the value of 20 newtons here i am not representing but please make a note of that the sum of two forces results 20 newtons next we want to find out the position position means with a point how much the distance at how much the distance it is taking place that is the resultant that means the distance between a and c becomes the distance of the resultant force from a particular end of the body that becomes the position of the resultant so how to find out that means by applying the law of moments so what is law of moments again sum of the anti-clockwise moments is equal to sum of the clockwise moments so here first i want to consider uh, moment about c point so i want to take the moment about the c point for these two forces okay so here for finding the x i am taking the moment about c so about c means when about c we have to consider 5 newtons and 50 newtons we should not consider the resultant because with respect to the c only we are taking the moments okay na? so now with respect to c the moment of the force fn is 5 into x that is the force into perpendicular distance to the point c okay so now 5 into x 5 into x is equal to 15 into 240 minus x why it is equal to means this force uh, with respect to c point gives the clockwise rotation and this 15 newton force with respect to c gives the anti-clockwise moment so sum of the clockwise moments is equal to sum of the anti-clockwise so that's why moment of the force fn is equal to moment of the force 15 newtons sorry moment of the force 5 newtons is equal to moment of the force 15 newtons so likewise so 5 into x and 15 into the perpendicular distance is 240 minus x now take the 15 inside then we'll get 3600 minus 15 x now take the 15 x to the left side it becomes the positive then the 5x plus 15x becomes 20x so when you cancel it we'll get x is equal to 180 180 mm the x value is the distance between a and c that is the position of the resultant with respect to the point a similarly we can also find out the position of the resultant with respect to b also when you subtract 180 from 240 okay so like that also we can find out after finding the x value so that is the way of finding the magnitude for the resultant and the position of the resultant by applying the law of moment so law of moment means again remember sum of the clockwise moments is equal to sum of the anti-clockwise moments okay so based upon that we have determined the 
position of the result time. So I hope you understand a simple problem uh, for applying the law of moments for finding the for uh, solving the engineering problems like this. So once again, th thanks for watching my video. Thank you all, and please subscribe to my channel and encourage me to upload more videos that can be useful for you and useful for me to improve my technical knowledge as well as yours also. Thank you all.